worship this morning. Huh? We are going to worship yeah, like like 10 years of pent up excitement type of worship sit, this in morning. The lights or something. We are going to worship like I am standing at a pulpit that saw a little boy who sang in choirs and walked around this pulpit, grow up into a man, go off, get trained, come back and preach and pastor again. That type of worship. We're going to worship like somebody had a rough week and just need to get into the face of God this morning. Y'all know what type of worship I'm talking about? We're going to worship this morning like, like we got voices to yell out and hands to clap and feet that work. That's the kind of worship we're going to do this morning. Because the budding theologian who rode in my car this morning told me that we're going to worship today because God is so great. Can I tell y'all that God is so great, y'all. And some people came here looking for the chance just to get that worship out. Looking for a community to worship with. Looking to find something new about a God who, who sets folks free. And so we're not going to just worship for ourselves. We're going to worship for our pastor and celebrate with our first family. We're going to work with we're going to worship with those who are looking to get free. We're going to worship for the people outside of this building that need all the power that comes from the worship that we are going to give out this morning. Anybody else ready to worship? Go ahead and stand on your feet. Amen. Oh, come on, everybody. Praise the Lord. Come on, get up on your feet and praise the Lord. Let's give God some worship this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If God's been good to you this week, if you got a hallelujah in your spirit, if God paid some bills this week, somebody say hallelujah. Yeah. Psalms 18 and 3 says, I will call upon the Lord, for he is worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. And so I'll be saved from my enemies. Anybody got a clap in their spirit? All right. Come on, let's go.
to you. Anybody ever said the name of the Lord and he came and saw about you? Hallelujah. We don't serve a dead God, but we serve a living Savior. Hallelujah. And he's in the world today. Through us, he lives in the world today. And this living Savior has such an amazing love towards us that honestly, it's hard to understand, hard to contain. Our finite mind and his infinite wisdom is hard to bring together simply because it's reckless. Simply because it's reckless. So we're going to worship God. Hallelujah. We're going to worship God because his love is really uncontained. <laughs> the limit is endless because there isn't one. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. <laughs> the song says, there's no shadow you won't light up, mountain you won't climb up, coming after me. There's no wall you won't kick down, lie you won't tear down, coming after me. Help me say there's no, there's no shadow you won't light up, mountain you won't climb up, coming after me. Is he ever come after you? There's no wall. No wall you won't kick down, lie you won't tear down, coming after me. There's no shadow. forsake you. 
I didn't say it, the word of God said it. And you can sit in that love. You can bask in that love. And because of the love of God, a way has been made for you. <laughs> because of the love of God, God will continue to make a way for you. You'll never be lost. <laughs> Once you're found in Christ, you can never be lost. You might be confused or perplexed. But I come to tell you, you're never lost. Hallelujah. You're never lost. The way's been made. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We rest in this. Come on, this past is anniversary, so we're going to worship together. When my back was against the wall And it looked as if it was over because you care about the hearts of this room and the hearts of this world, God. Thank you, God, because you know our needs and you want the absolute best for us, God. God, that your word says that all things are working, working together for the good, Lord, for us, Lord. And even when we can't see how it's working together, God, we know that it is. So, God, we just ask for your guidance this morning, Lord. For those in this room who are coming and seeking you for prayer, God, we ask you, God, to hear their voices and meet them where they are. There are so many things that we seek you for, God. Some of us, God, come with pains this morning, Lord. Pains in our hearts, pains in our bodies, God. Emotional pains, God, and we ask you to meet us there, Lord. God, you said your word says that you are a healer, Lord. God, your words as you hear our cries, God, you hear our voices, God. Your words is that you are a God that wipes tears, Lord. So wipe our tears this morning, God. Comfort us, God, where we are in pain. Heal us where we are sick, God. Strength. 
strengthen us when we are weak, God. God, all the places that we have voids in our bodies and in our minds, God, where we find ourselves unable to do the things that we feel called to do, God, you be those needs, God. God, fill our lap with your abundance, God. God, fill all the places that we feel incapable, God. Remind us it's okay because you are mighty and capable, God, and that we can be able to do things in you, God, that we can do all things through you, God. God, we ask you to, to be with us this morning. God, we thank you for the hands that we hold, God, for reminders that there is one other brother or sister who is struggling alongside of us, God, encouraging us, pushing us on, and wishing for our best. We thank you for New Bethel, Lord. We thank you for this awesome house, God, where you dwell, Lord, where ministries and work go forward, God. We thank you for this place and for all the people that you continue to send to this place to be healed, to be empowered, and to be sent out, God. Allow this to be, to be a place and continue to be a place that grows in you, God, and does your work, Lord, God. We thank you for our pastor this morning, God. We thank you for Dexter Nuttall and the division that you placed in him. We thank you for 10 years of excellence, God. We thank you for 10 years of building and growing, God. God, we thank you, God, for all of the sacrifice and energy it takes to do anything for 10 years, Lord. God, we thank you, God, and we ask you that you continue to encourage and strengthen our, our pastor and our first family, God, even as they begin to continue to pray and support us, Lord. God, we thank you for the world that exists outside of this building, God. Continue to show us how to build and encourage and strengthen the streets that surround us, God. The communities that surround those streets, God. The countries that surround this city, Lord. God, because we know there are people beyond us who are struggling today, God. And so, God, we ask you to, to give us guidance, God, and to build up cities that are burning in California this morning, God. God, we ask you to, to give strength and courage to mothers who are mourning sons who passed away this morning, God. God, we ask you to be with the family of the young lady at Clark Atlanta University, God, whose body was found, God. But we know that there are bodies of children and adults all over this world who were snatched too soon. And God, for those families, we pray healing, Lord. God, we thank you, Lord. We thank you, God, because in moments of pain, God, and the times that we're looking for strength, Lord, you are everything that we need. Remind us to seek you for guidance and discernment, God. Remind us to seek you for power, Lord. God, so that we can be the change that we seek in our own lives, God. The God, that we can, that we can ignite the flames of change, God, in our own church, God. That, God, we can invite the, the night night, the flame to change in our cities, in our country, in our world, God. God, we thank you, Lord, for being every single thing that we need. Speak to us in this place. Speak to us in this prayer, God. And allow our prayers to go beyond this moment, God. Echo in our hearts this Especially week, God, and remind God. us how we can be more like you, God. How we can have more of you and how we can share our light, God, so that others might know you all the more. God, we give all our prayers to you. We'll go now. We'll Trusting, we'll believing that you are able and willing to do exceedingly and abundantly above all that we ask and imagine. So we submit this prayer to you, Lord. We'll In Jesus Christ's name we do pray. Huh? Amen. 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 Hug someone as you go to your seat. When you Seven sit one. down, go ahead and squeeze in a little bit tighter this morning because we have a full, uh, a full church and people who are trying to get in.
myself like I don't know why. But I'm still standing here. <laughs> yeah. She's standing here. And we're standing here. And we're standing here. faces this morning. Welcome, 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 everybody. Um, you are at New Bethel Baptist Church, an awesome congregation. You are at New Bethel Baptist Church on the 10th anniversary sister, of our pastor and first family. We're going to lay hands on Monica after service. Well, I'm like, how did we get that off? For those who this might be your first time, the reason why that's so exciting is when maybe it was, it was 10 years and you didn't have an awesome pastor in the first family. Maybe maybe you will be get a little bit of a round of applause. All the applause we're getting is because we have such an amazing pastor, such an amazing first family, and we are so excited, excited to be worshiping and celebrating with them. Um, I am standing to say welcome. We have some visitors in the place. Um, are there any visitors? You can just stand. I won't make you announce yourself. We just want to see who you are. Any visitors? Anyone visiting with us for the first time? Oh, man. Amen. Oh, that's awesome. That's great. You can have a seat. We are so happy to have you with us this morning. Um, and because we have more people coming in, I'm going to ask you, if there is space on your row, go ahead and squeeze in so we have room for some more visitors. Awesome. Visitors, we are so happy to have you. We hope that you feel like family because that is the type of church that New Bethel is. We are inviting, we are so happy to have you here. You are going to enjoy worship. We invite you to, to enjoy it however you see fit. You can worship with us, praise with us, celebrate with us. And um, while you're doing all of that, I'm going to invite you. There is a card on the front of your pew. We want you to write your name down just so we can know who you are and who was coming with us today. And then after service, um, you can either put that card in the plate during offering or the visitor's desk out in the front, out in the front. you can pass it with them and they have a special gift that they, that, that they would like to give to you. Um, so I'm excited about our day today, but as we get started, we want to have some time to celebrate and enjoy everyone around you. So I invite you to stand and greet someone, say hello, give a hug.
awesome thing that's happening. So we're going to have a great day of celebrating. Um, someone say, we strive together. One great thing about having a church that has such a...